Tonight, a very unusual for Stimulus Check Update of 2021 for Alight. Tonight, we have confirmation in written format in 600 pages that there will be checks for the American people under the Fourth Stimulus Reconciliation Bill. Checks of all types, checks for seniors, checks for workers, checks for individuals, checks for children, checks for caring for the adults, checks for vehicles, checks for cars, checks for bicycles. The list goes on and on. Checks of all different types coming from the federal government to you under the Fourth Stimulus Reconciliation Bill. But in tonight, a rare visit. I step back over what has happened over the last few months and why certain people wanted to tell you that there was never going to be any checks for you in the Fourth Stimulus Reconciliation, that there was never going to be a penny for you, and why ultimately they went to their furthest point that they could go to run that fake narrative and in the end were disproven. Tonight, we go over the 600 few, first few pages released from the Reconciliation Bill that shows all those checks that are coming to the American people and shows why people, certain individuals, very bad individuals, try to dissuade you from ever thinking that there was another penny coming from you from this federal government. They were wrong, and tonight, they're crawling back into the grave in which they came. There's a lot of money coming for you, and tonight, as a family that celebrates together as one, we go over the finish line with all the incredible details about the big money coming to you, now confirmed lots of checks in that fourth stimulus break -off. tuning in from. It's been very cool here in Southern California. But tonight we do a very unusual for Simul Shank Update 2021 where we look back on what has happened in the last few months. I give you a personal insight as to what has gone on in the space and why I think certain individuals wanted to go to the furthest degree they could tell you that there would never be any money for you under the Four Simul's Recon. And tonight they're eating crow because 600 pages have been released proving their fake narrative was fake. Tonight I have for you the Fourth Simulus Check Update of 2021 you've been waiting for. The first 600 pages and then 800 pages of the Fourth Simulus Reconciliation Bill, Bill released to the American people. Checks of all magnitudes, and these are checks that are agreed upon. The details of this are the fascinating. But first, subscribe, 400,000 subscribers, for a reason. This channel has been the channel that gets you money from day one. More about that later in this video. Subscribe right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Let's cut right to the details right off the bat before we go over how we got here. A reconciliation bill takes thousands of pages to write up. But the first step they have to do is verbally agree to the provisions. And as they verbally agree to the provisions, they reduce them to a writing. Well, the first 600 pages have now been released, specifically 645. These are items they've agreed to. They've verbally agreed to, so they are over the finish line. These items are all checks for the American people. Checks for you. Checks of massive sums of money. And they're not talking about a few hundred dollars. They're talking about thousands of dollars. The biggest payout we've ever seen in this channel's history channel. What are some of these checks? Here's an additional preview before we go over more about them later in this video. The first 645 pages detail, hazard pay, will be a lifetime program as the earned income tax credit amended under the third stimulus package for hazard pay individuals is now expanded lifetime. Number two, children will get upwards of $55,000 to $60,000 between birth and age 18, being paid $3,000 a year to $3,600 a year. That's a monthly stimulus check, and it amounts to fifty dollars to $60,000 over 18 years. That's a lot. That's monthly, and that's a monthly stimulus check. Then, $4,000 to care for the elderly. If you take care of a senior or an elderly person, you could be getting $4,000. And if you care for someone on the other side of the spectrum, someone very young, you could also be getting that money. Money for cars, money for vehicles, money for bicycles, money for medical, dental, vision, and more. 
Lots and lots of checks. Wow. But this should not come to a surprise because, a surprise because this is what I've been reporting since day one. When we first learned about the forced stimulus reconciliation, in spring of this year, actually almost winter of this year, I detailed one of the very, very first videos anywhere called Forced Stimulus. People had not even given it a name. I gave it the name. And I said, look at what the president's proposing. $3.5 trillion for the American people. At the time, certainly roads and bridges were in there initially, making it a little bit confusing that there was checks for the American people plus roads and bridges, which aren't you. Those are for roads and bridges. But once those roads and bridges were removed, it became very clear what the remainder was. All checks for you. And in fact, one of the people that made it easiest for us to understand it, ironically, was his opponent, Mitch McConnell, who said, well, everything in that recon is checks for the American people and then started the clarity of the situation. All checks for the American people. But immediately, the situation for some people started at that very moment. The very moment that the roads and bridges were removed, their narrative that they wanted you to believe was that there was nothing for you ever in this forced to most reconciliation. Over the weekend, this channel removed comments under the videos for the following simple reason was there were so many people trying to post incorrect information on a repeated basis to somehow dissuade you from ever applying for the stimulus that people were being negatively impacted. And ironically, after this reconciliation bill was released on Friday, 600 pages of it, detailed on Saturday, Sunday, and again here on Monday, guess one of the comments that someone tried to post in an older video just about 20 minutes ago? He locked the comments up because he doesn't want you to know that there's no checks under the Force Simulus Recon. That was the actual comment. Why do people do this, and where does it stem from? We'll be analyzing this video why certain people have suddenly in 2021 become on a rampage to tell you that there's nothing for you as though it brings them personal benefit. And why suddenly we become very divisive as a society where certain people want you to not get anything. Not what it was in 2020 and not what will happen here. But let's go back to those checks first off the bat. The reconciliation is a budget bill that does not require any Republican votes. It's done in two parts. Two parts. The first part is a reconciliation procedural and a reconciliation substantive. The reconciliation procedural passed in the month of August. That's already law, meaning there will be a recon and it will be $3.5 trillion, exactly, and that the money will be split among committees. How those committees split the money is what they decide in what's called reconciliation Substantive. Ron Clay and the President's Chief of Staff appeared on broadcast media a week ago. And when asked about, well, are they going to get that recon done? He says, we already did it. We did it in August. Thank you, Chief of Staff. Thank you, Mr. Clayton, for that wonderful clarity of the situation. So how they split the money is really the issue. And so how do Democrats do this? When you're doing a reconciliation, it's only Democrats with Democrats. And ultimately, they have to go through each of the items verbally meet, verbally agree to it, and once it's agreed upon, then it's reduced to a writing. The reason why we have only 600 pages of what could be maybe an 8,000-page bill is because this is the first 600 pages that have been agreed upon. It's important to understand how Democrats do this. Democrats do this by going to one's offices, talking on the phone, having a lunch, having a cup of coffee, and verbally agreeing upon the provisions. Once they verbally agree upon the provisions, then they go write that provision, which confirms their agreement. It's just the confirmation of something they've already made an agreement or a deal on. Then when they call the vote, it's a ceremonial vote because they already agreed upon it. What's important to understand is even at this point of the equation, some people have wanted to tell you the complete opposite. Number one, they wanted to tell you that until we see the bill, they haven't made an agreement. No, nope, that's the reverse. The reverse is they first do the agreement and the bill just confirms the agreement. Number two, they wanted these naysayers to tell you that no one was in town. And unless they're broadcasted live on C-SPAN, they're not doing anything. 
Well, that's not the way Congress works. And unfortunately, that may work on another channel, but doesn't work here where the viewers know exactly how legislators legislate. Legislators legislate in subcommittees or on the phone. The subcommittees are not broadcasted or live streamed on broadcast media like C-SPAN. Moreover, those subcommittees work even when the Senate or House is not in session. Today, the House subcommittees are meeting to go over more of the other pages they want to get done. The House is actually not in session, but the Senate House subcommittees are in session even though the House is not in session. Over on the Senate side, the Senate is back in session, but they have nothing to vote about because they don't have the final bill. Let's go back over those checks now a little bit more in detail. We have different groups of checks to deal with. The first of the 645 pages that have now been confirmed. These items you could basically etch in stone at this point because these are items they verbally agreed to. They verbally said, go write it. It's done. Then we have another group right after that that broadcast me and myself believe that they've been repeated so often that we believe they are going to go over the finish line. That is simply they're just finalizing it. And then we have a cluster right after that that is very likely. And then we have the IRS checks. Let's go eat over each of these one at a time slowly. So the first set of checks, these are from the 645 pages released from the House Subcommittee, House Ways and Means, on Friday. A 645-page part of the bill, it's not the full bill, it's just a part of what would become the bill, includes, first off, the hazard pay provision. Hazard Pay was first introduced to this channel in 2020, and thousands of videos were made on this channel, but Hazard Pay didn't get its format in the way we would have liked it in 2020. In 2021, it manifested itself in a wonderful modification to an old tax code called the Earned Income Tax Credit. The Earned Income Tax Credit was modified under third stimulus to reduce to increase eligibility by reducing the age and growing and growing of the amount that you make annually to include more people that would be to open the realm of eligibility. And the benefit didn't stop there, also increasing the amount of money you would get. But the earned income modification to that earned income tax credit for hazard pay individuals in the third stimulus is finite, not to continue for more than a few years. Four stimulus makes it a lifetime. Wow. Four stimulus will make this earned income tax credit modified for third stimulus for purposes of essential workers and everyone else, and especially individuals who are single who don't make a lot of money, to now be a lifetime benefit so that if you work in that same work in that workspace, you could still get this every single year that you're working in that workplace. Incredible. Number two, caring for the seniors, caring for the young. Yes, you will get paid a benefit for it in the form of, again, a massive tax credit. And it's not a few hundred dollars. It's up to $4,000 a person per year. And this, again, would also be as every year that you work in that environment lifetime. So if you work for an elderly as a care, as a care individual, you can get up to $4,000 as a tax credit every year. If you care for the children, you could get that same amount of money. This was a very big issue apparently called for by Representative Richard Neal, head of the Ways and Means Committee. He wanted this provision and he got it. And of course, his committee is the one that released the 645 page item. This is huge because a lot of people do care for seniors and the definition of it, we still need to see, but this could qualify for a lot of people who have an adult senior at home and you are listed as their care provider. Of course, the children. $50,000. Incredible. Up to $60,000. If for children newborn all the way up to age 18, the child tax credit would now be a permanent part of the tax code. Proposed as just a short run for a few years under third stimulus, this would be a permanent provision of the tax code, which would pay parents per child per year anywhere from $3,000 to $3,600, but now it would run for lifetime. So this code would pay that parent of that child until the age of adulthood, which would basically be 18 years of this benefit if the parent qualifies based upon their income level. So you would see a parent receiving three to three six thirty six hundred dollars per child per year for 18 years, paid on a monthly amount of 300 to 360 dollars a month. There you go. There is your MSC and your monthly stimulus check for them. 
the provisions of the code, the provisions of this recon of checks continue. If you want to buy something, the federal government's going to give you money to go buy it. For example, you want to go buy a new a bike? Well, make it an electric one. You're better because the federal government will pay 15% of a new electric bike if you go buy electric. Number two, if you want to buy a new car, the federal government will pick up $7,500 if you buy an electric car from the big three U.S. auto manufacturers. And then it will go even higher for several other types of cars. Also, if you have a business and you want to buy a vehicle and it's electric for the business, there'll be a big tax break for that as well. Then the numbers continue across the board. Money for also rehabbing houses. If you need to rehab a house in a poor neighborhood, there will be uh, money given to you for that under the 645 pages of this bill released or part of the bill released on Friday. There will also be money for ch college students like grants to help college students um, proceed and have their tuition paid for. Some of the grants will be tax-free, like making Pell's education completely tax-free, and others' items will be um, where they give the money to the college and then the college can turn it around to you. This is part of the 645 pages of the Recon Bill released on Friday. Again, these are provisions that are done, signed, sealed by oral agreement, and that just putting into writing is a confirmation of their oral agreement. This is not something like someone's going to have a problem with it. Now, ultimately, senators can modify things. That's certainly part of the equation at issue. But these are items that have stemmed, as House rep uh, Democrats represent to us, from negotiations among both House Democrats and Senate Democrats. Wow. Incredible great news. So when will we see the next few pages over the next few hours or days? It's very, very abrupt and very, very quick. Among the items we're expected to see are very, very comprehensive items. Broadcast media and myself have identified about a dozen items that we've seen repeated so many times as paying checks under the Force of Recon, but not yet in the first 645 pages that we all believe that they're going to last to the finish line. Those items include some of the items which I may have mentioned before or about to mention, so there may be some overlap. Expansion of paid leave, paid family leave, and paid medical leave being expanded. More money for child care programs, extension of the household tax credit, um, enhanced the, including the enhanced child tax credit, expansion of Medicare benefits, which I'm going to get to in a second, extension of the Affordable Care Act subsidies, universal pre-K being paid for. So that basically means that if you have to send a, if you have a child and you send them to pre-K education, it would be paid for everywhere. Then community college would be provided tuition free. There'll be checks to go to community college and get an education. There'll be tax and seven grants to do certain types of green energy transportation, whether you're an individual or a business owner, and a lots of money for electric vehicles, especially in federal fleets. There we go. And then we get to the next part, those items that are likely to get in there because we've heard about them so much and they're still negotiating about them. I'll get to those items in a second. I'll also get to the IRS checks in a second. And then I'll also get to where they are on this legislation. But let's step back a little bit. Already 17, 18 minutes of this video, you see that there's Tons of checks for you to get. Checks of all kinds, whether you're single individual adults, married, not married, child, not married. Checks of all types, some monthly, some multiple, and virtually every viewer of this channel who qualified for third or second or first stimulus item is likely to qualify for many of these items, multiple of these items across the board. The recurring theme of these items are that they are generally application-based. And application based means you have to pick up a phone and call and ask for the money. That's how the first, second, and third stimulus were as well. We have to pick up the phone and say, I want the money. I'll be going over more about this in a second. But clearly already you've seen that any person who wanted to try to tell you over the last four months that there were no checks for you under the first stimulus recon is now looking with egg on their face. This is all checks. What's important to say is that once that the president 
Nancy and Chuck had agreed to take roads and bridges out of the reconciliation and put into something called the bipartisan. The recon was left with only checks. And that's why the president had told Jalapal and Brian Schatz, protect my recon, because everything in there is reconciliation, is progressive checks for the American people. Just checks. At that time, the naysayers wanted to tell you, no, the Force Simulus Recon is only about roads and bridges. Incorrect. <laughs> the Force Simulus Recon is not about roads and bridges. That is the infrastructure bill or the or, or the bipartisan legislation. Ours is called the reconciliation. They're two very distinct types of legislation. And as they became more and more distinct, my perception of the situation is the naysayers got more angry with the situation because they couldn't use the confusion of the situation with them together to trick you. Rather, once they were separated and Roads and Bridges was clearly not <laughs> where your money was for your for your $4,000 to care for the elderly, they couldn't say it's only roads and bridges. So what did they do next? The naysayers wanted to tell you that there would never be any checks in the recon. They tried things like saying that everything in the recon was checks for the federal government. No, this is checks for the American people. This is not checks for the American, for the, for, for the, for the federal government. And then they tried to even go to such lengths to say, that um, that it was never going to happen, or that it had failed, or that it had never passed. Of course, they always ran whatever angle they could. And even in the days that have passed since this last Friday, when broadcast media started to pick it up a little bit, but certainly is picking up now, that the recon, first 645 pages have been released, and it's all checks, guess what the naysayers are still back saying? There's no checks for you under the Force Stimulus Recon. Well, <laughs> you may have to check that fake narrative at the door because there's a lot of checks in here. There's $50,000 for some families. <clears throat> there's $4,000 of care for the elderly. It's very confusing why people would do that. But here is what's important to understand. As you sit back and you look back at 2020 versus now, you need to understand where this channel came from to understand where this channel is now. This channel tonight, I think, is at 140 million views in less than a year and a few months. And what were those views 90% for? Showing people how to apply and get money. This channel was launched for a channel to provide information on how to get things, how to fill out things, how to apply for things. I show people how to apply for the EIDL and the PUA. The channel launched on April 25th, but did not cover stimulus until almost the summer, covering initially in April, May, and June only application things. EIDL, PUA, UI, PPP, all that wonderful stuff, one after another, LWA. And only once we moved into stimulus did I see something very peculiar? And this is what's important for you to understand in this rare personal message tonight. When I moved into stimulus, when this channel moved into stimulus coverage, certainly I started to see a very strange nuance, which was certain stimulus channels, which many of which don't exist anymore, were all about just telling you when a check was to come. But what about all this other money that people were qualified for in the second stimulus? What about all this money they're qualified under fourth stimulus, first stimulus? These channels got millions and millions of views, never helping a single person apply for an application on anything. They never showed you how to fill out a form, never showed you how to fill out an application, never showed you even where the application was. And they built their benefit, their platform on just saying, it's there or it's not there. It's there or it's not there. And guess what? Most of them are now gone because people needed to know how to get money. It was some point in 2020 fall where I said, this channel is basically uh, um, stimulus 3.0. <laughs> Sophisticated stimulus, not stimulus 1.0. Because at one point you realize, wait a second, there's a lot of money in here to me to get. But who's going to show me how to do it? Who's going to show me how to apply for these things? 
as we sit back here, you may have heard some of these things already in this video. You say, I want that money, but how do I get it? How do I get $4,000 to tend for the elderly? I'm about to go over dental vision and hearing care in a second. How do I get that? How about that money for that bike? I need a new bike or 15% off. How does that work? What type of electric bike? Does that have to be a unionized bike? Does that have to be an American bike? These are all nuances that people need to know. People are not ignoramuses. They're very smart. They need to know the information. And quickly, we focused on how to get money. When third stimulus was first bannered around in fall of 2020 and then certainly in spring of 2021, I detailed for the first time on this channel a detail of the items that are in third stimulus. The great news, and you certainly know it because you've been watching the videos on this channel, is that that money from third stimulus is still available, thank goodness, and is still paying out this week, thank goodness, fortunes to viewers this channel. That money required something more than just, can I open up my online bank account and look and see if it landed? Mm -mm. Had to do something, had to pick up the phone. Our inspiration starts this evening with Mark. You met Mark on this channel. He got $55,000 from this channel by applying for four or five items. Just like Johnny, who applied for seven items to get 8,000. Well, guess what? Mark is his true embodiment of the Purple Bower Spirit, helping other people. Who did he help? He helped his brother-in-law. In an update from Mark tonight, he reveals that he told his brother-in-law how to apply for these other items under third stimulus in September <laughs> for a bill that passed in January. Yes, this bill is still paying a lot of money. The brother got, this is Mark wrote writing in a new message I got this morning, $30,000 for rent just the last few days, $15,000 for utilities, $2,500 back from the IRS, $24,000 from the EID alone, and $6,000 from state, $75 for internet, and $50 for phone for each line. That is a lot of money, and especially in September for a January bill. That stirred stimulus. That is not what day is landing in my bank account. That brother-in-law did not get that by just putting out his hand. He picked up the phone and called, as we've seen on this channel. That's how you get money, is by picking up the phone and calling. As he says, thank you, LA, for helping people like me and my family to save our home and our businesses. You're helping people like me and my family save our homes and my businesses. You are the one and they need to be praised. If it wasn't for you, a lot of people would be homeless and hungry. God bless you and your family. Keep going. Well, I really appreciate that, Mark. I also really appreciate how the viewership of this channel since Sunday, in less than 24 hours, has absolutely delivered one of the biggest success stories of the month. What is it? Purple Patrol. Viewers have absolutely been tired and sick of people jumping into comments and posting false information, especially in a universe in which we're on a community trying to learn, educate ourselves about how to get money and then someone jumps in and says, hey, you're not getting anything. Congratulations, I'm the joker, and you're not getting anything. Wait a second, we're just sitting here going through a 635-page bill about all the checks we're getting, and this joker's jumping in the chat and saying, we're not getting anything. Who are you? Yeah, you're not getting anything. Which brings me a per personal uh, message. It's unclear why this level of people want to tell you you're not getting anything when we clearly can read. We are clearly adults. We clearly know what we're doing, whether you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or Wearable Benefits. You clearly learn very well on this channel. And someone thinks they can jump in and sort of run the storyline a different direction, tell you there's nothing. Tonight, they're looking foolish because there's a lot of money that everyone's getting under this forced stimulus recon. But where did this come from? Where did this come from? And that's why tonight's recording is a little bit different. Earlier today, I had a wonderful, nice message, private message from one of the longest, one of the oldest viewers of this channel. Not age, but longest duration viewers of this channel. Her name is Jennifer, and she's a very proud Republican. And she said, I don't understand when this became Republican versus Democrat on a channel that is bipartisan. And she said, these people that want to jump in and run their anger against the president as a way to tell people not to get money is unacceptable. She's a proud Republican, and she was part of this entire channel in 2020 and 2021 and fought for us to all get our money together as a family. And she doesn't understand why someone who has a particular disdain 
for Joseph Biden would come into a chat and say, you're not getting any money. I'm going to love telling you you're not getting any money. I'm going to hope you believe me. You may not believe me, but I'm going to keep on saying you're not going to get any money. Why? Why is that? Why would someone come to someone in 2020 who was thrown out of a job and is unemployed and say, you're not getting unemployment benefits. There's no such thing as unemployment benefits. There's no such thing as PUA. There's no such thing. They never did it then. You notice? In 2020, you never saw anyone tell you there was no unemployment benefits. They never told you there was no PUA. They never told you there was no EIDL. We never saw this in 2020. But in 2021, there's some people who want to tell you that things don't exist. Tonight, we know how foolish they look. These things exist, and these things are here. And the viewership of this channel is going to get every single penny of it. And yet, they still, as if even today, after the bill was released, the first 600 pages, that has checks on top of checks, want you to think there's nothing in there. Let's go back into the, some of those checks and go over more about the checks. These are some of the other items that are proposed in the recon. They're not in the 600 pages. They're not in that short summary of 12 items that we all think that are going to get in here. So these are likely but not definite. So free school meals for all, checks, tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication, checks. Checks for a free internet. Basically, the way it worked is they would give money to the local counties and states, cities, so that they could launch their own internet company and give you free internet. Check for farmers. Um, that would give up to $1 billion over five years to help the agricultural industry. Then check for clean energy. Lots of checks for workers like independent contractors. Checks for seniors like dental, vision, lowering the eligibility age for Medicare and more. Very real. Very, very clear and very straightforward. And yet, here it is. Sophisticated? Yeah. Something you need to sort of listen to and apply for? It? Yes. Something you could watch a video and within 30 seconds say, oh, I'm ready for it to land in my bank account? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. For people who think that life is as simple as a 30-second blink of the eye and then the money lands your bank account, no. That was never first stimulus. That was never second stimulus. That was never third stimulus. This channel launched in April of last year with me doing the EIDL loans and grants. Really one of the most confusing situations there were for people who had applied and suddenly saw their applications not getting approved. The reason this channel became a success in April was I was able to dissect, dissect why the applications weren't getting approved, why they were stuck, why they were stalled, how to get them unstuck. It was a task. It was not difficult. I mean, it was, it was not easy. It was a task. You had to figure out why and how do we get this application approved. We had to figure out why some people had applied and gotten payment in a second and other people hadn't. And then UI went live. UI was very confusing. You had to answer questions like, are you able to work? Are you willing to work? And if you didn't answer the right way, you would get denied. And so that involved going over the application on air. It was never, um, I'm unemployed, put a check in my hand. No, you had to fill out the question. You had to certify for benefits. I remember a wonderful viewer on this channel who said, okay, I did everything you said. Um, I went in, I got approved, but I still, still I don't see any money coming in. I said, did you certify for benefits? What does that mean? A lot of people have never done unemployment in their entire life, so they never heard of what certifying for benefits on a weekly basis was in April of last year. It was a brand new expression for a lot of people. Certify for benefits, what does that mean? It means you go through, okay, in 10 minutes they were done and suddenly the money started showing. But it's where you learn from information. Somewhere along the scope, Two events occurred. The first event we just talked about with the naysayer. But then the other event occurred, which I couldn't particularly understand where it was coming from, where people thought everything was just, I dream a genie. <laughs> you know, <laughs> go like that. It just appears. It's, you know, Darren go away. Yeah, it's just, it's just blinks her eyes, blinks her eyes or blinks her nose or whatever it was. And it just appears. That was never the case under any of these stimulus packages. You couldn't blink your eye and get a check for EIDL or PPP or PUA or UI. Everyone had problems with everything. Uh, the, the, the check was late or the check was on time. It wasn't here. It wasn't there. It was the wrong amount. It was always something to be fixed. It was never, it was never so easy that you just put out your hand. 
And yet some people along the universe started to say everything should be automated. My perception of the situation, I do have an opinion of the situation. For the first time, I'm really saying it on tonight on camera. I think the people who have manifested this notion of I just want automated checks are a lot of them are people who one think want those checks for a particular purpose, but don't want these types of checks. For example, um, they don't want this type of money. For example, they may have a a ten thousand uh, dollar home repair bill at home that they that they had to repair their home because of a hurricane, and they wa- they need the stim they want the stimulus check to pay off from the IRS to pay off the home repair bill. It's something that's specific to their situation that they don't want to hear about anything else. They just want that money. Needless to say, I have had to see people in the comments say, "I want the I want IRS stimulus checks so I can go buy a house." So I can go buy a car, so I can go buy a condo. Yeah, it's, it's, that's not the concept of stimulus. That's I, So I can go buy some crypto. Yeah, that's not the purpose of stimulus. Uh, but we never knew where these people came from. Understand, we're back to basics. We're back to good and wholesome and truthful big money. And here it is. With 645 pages released of what could be an 8,000-page bill, what's next? Well, what's next on the horizon is getting the final pages out the door. How are they doing this? Democrats on the Senate side, Democrats on the House side, meaning tooth and nail day after day, hour after hour, going over the provisions of what they want to get in there. Again, these broad, these meetings are not broadcast on C-SPAN. You may see Senate members on the Senate floor arguing about stuff, but that's not actually coming to an oral agreement about anything. They're just advocating for stuff. And as they go through those advocacy moments, things start to uh, agree to one after another, and then they add them to the list, like those 12 items I showed you that are likely to come next. And when we look outside of this channel, when we look at broadcast media, you can see something slightly different than what you're seeing on this channel today. Why broadcast media are running this story about the taxes at issue under forced stimulus recon, how the taxes are being raised to pay for the forced stimulus recon, personal taxes, corporate taxes, which is a big story. And a lot of channels understand that is a story their viewers want to hear. How much are my taxes being raised? They want to run that story because they know their viewership wants to hear that. That's not what this viewership wants to hear. Um, this viewership wants to hear what are the items that pay under the Force Simmons Recon. And so I won't be covering the taxes so much. And also the broadcast media, they're not going to be covering the contents so much. So understand if you tune into broadcast media, they're not going to show you how to get a 15% off of the electric bike. (laughs) They may never even mention that. They may say just a lot of stuff in there. (laughs) They may just really gleam over it. Um, Sometimes they will. Some of the the financial broadcast channels are the basis of some of my reporting tonight. One of the conservative publications actually did a very nice write-up on some of this stuff. And then finally, if you look at the 645 pages that was released, it's very hard to read through it. It's just not readable. It's not a. Re- it's not summarized. Third stimulus. We had a summary, so that makes it. Uh, that makes this channel now even more important for me to really focus on all, every item one at a time and show you how I get these sums of money. What comes up next? What comes up next is our uh, is our dates and also our our twists and turns. On this channel, I've learned over the last year that dates are something I like to stay away from. Why? Because if I mention a date, people often take the date and apply it to mean something else. For example, I may say um, they have to do something by Thursday, and then they're hoping to get it done by Thursday, to which someone may say, oh, so I'm getting a check on Friday. No, I just said they had to get something done by Thursday. And so um, there is some talk about having to get a deadline of certain things done by Wednesday. That's not to mean that anyone's going to check on on Thursday or Wednesday. It's just they have a certain individual deadline. Meantime, the dramatics of the confusion and the nuances of how legislation is passed is very complex. You've seen how on this channel how I've detailed reconciliation procedural versus recon substantive. I've talked about who's authoring the bill. And over the last few weeks, I said I thought it's going to be the House subcommittees authoring the bill. Today we learn I was right, again, um, because it's the House subcommittee that authored the 645-page bill. We also had been told that the House Democrats and Senate Democrats were negotiating together, but sometimes they may not totally agree. There's a lot of talk about that as well, as to some of the items tonight as well, that maybe the Senate just may propose slight variations on the numbers or the calculations.
Finally, the MSCIRS. I'm adding IRS to the equation now on this channel tonight because it's important to understand that for stimulus recon has multiple stimulus checks in there. Lots of different checks, multiple checks that you qualify for. There is also monthly stimulus checks for the, for the children. And so the words MSC and MSC, if I don't say IRS to it, may be confusing. What does the IRS want? The one you're used to. The $1,400 on the third stimulus, $600 on the second stimulus. Democrats have always said they want to give you those MSCs. And we have House Ways and Means, we have, uh, we have AOC and Omar, we have the House Bill, and of course we have the Democratic Senators themselves. WR did what I asked for viewers to do about five weeks ago. Picked up the phone, called Chris, Cook, called his senator. I said, call your senator and advocate. The Spirit of this channel has always been advocating. And stimulus checks are often added at very, very last second. But WR did exactly what I said about six to eight weeks ago, called up Senator Chris Coons, Democrat of Delaware, and advocated for a monthly stimulus check. Did not ask, did not formulate a question when, where, how, merely advocated. And the staffer said, yeah, Senator Chris Coons will be proposing a forced stimulus recon. Wow, now that's incredible great news, and that's a world exclusive. That is a senator on the Senate side, which means it could come when this lands on the Senate side, not necessarily on the House side. Then Bernie Sanders, he's chairman of the Budget Committee on the Senate side. This is the 645 pages from the House Budget Committee, which is expected to have been writing this with the senators in mind and, and part of the negotiations. But Bernie Sanders had said two weeks ago, as your Democratic uh, head of the Senate Budget Committee, I do things differently than prior budget chairmen. I like to get out amongst the people and hear from them. And I said at that time, that is your purpose for advocacy. Pick up the phone and call your Democratic senators. Say, we need a monthly stimulus check. Advocacy on this channel has been one of the cores since 2020. Advocacy is saying something with a sentence, with a period at the end, not a question mark. Can you tell me what day, when, where, how, where? Is that maybe? No, that's not advocacy. That's asking a question. No one likes to be asked questions. You go on a first date with someone, they ask you only questions and never has anything to say. Yeah, it feels like I'm sitting with Barbara Walters. <clears throat> so no one likes to be asked a lot of questions. They like to hear your situation. And Brother Joshua told his situation, called up Senator Bernie Sanders' staff uh, two weeks ago. He's a 2020 volunteer for the community page. Longtime viewer of this channel and also Purple Hawk. An advocate for stimulus check and Senator Bernie Sanders' staffer said yes. Bernie Sanders will be proposing a forced stimulus check in the forced stimulus recon if he has the support of, of you. And that proposal he wants to do is anywhere from $1,000 to $1,400 monthly stimulus check. It's three to six months. Wow. That would be upwards of $9,000 on the high end. House bill, $13,000, um, so but over 12 months. This would be over six months on the high end. So very, very comp comparable numbers across the board. As you see tonight in a very rare recording, I wanted to give you a sort of tailored down, hard, bare bones recording where I show you that they were wrong. The naysayers were wrong. They were wrong all along. And guess what? Tomorrow, this week, when you're in the live chat, they'll probably jump in there and say, there's no checks in there for the forced stimulus recon for you. Yeah, there are. Uh, go wash your mouth out with soap, because here it is. We got it. It's there. And yes, we're only at the first 600 pages, so we got a couple thousand more to go. We got a lot at 600 pages, folks. Imagine what the next couple thousand are going to look like. It's a great evening, and boy, I hope you've enjoyed this very different broadcast tonight, but I think we owed it to ourselves to understand why this channel has been so different, launched from the basis of getting people money, not from the basis of pulling out a news article and just sort of reading it like this, showing you how to get money, showing you how to apply for money, and showing you why this channel is focused on your independence so that you get as many bills paid, and as the wonderful comment from Mark said, uh, you are the one who should be praised. If it wasn't for you, a lot of people would be homeless and hungry. God bless you and your family. Keep going. And God bless you and the family and your family tonight as well. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for your incredible launch of the Purple Patrol. And join me next as we go into tonight's evening's programs, including Sir Lloyd and also Overnight's Crypto. And with that, 
subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you to borrow this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes. And consider becoming a member because this is the channel that gets you the money. Stay informed, stay focused, and I hope you enjoyed this different broadcast tonight. Thank you.